Hey guys, so it's Wednesday. It's April 3rd. It's about um, 11.30. I, on Monday, I was sketching some stuff for the next video, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. But then yesterday, um, I was at the DMV all day. It actually didn't take that long, but um, then I just started cleaning up the house afterwards, so. Yeah, that's pretty much all I did, but I'll show you what I was uh, sketching on Monday. So this is what I was working on on Monday. Um, just working out some ideas. I uh, originally was going to do some stuff in this sketchbook, which is just regular sketching paper. But I ended up doing it in my, I guess, mixed media booklet, which I'm like kind of sad about. <laughs> I don't know, I'd, I'd like to keep things in certain things but this is what I had open at the time so I just picked it up and did it but I'm thinking about going with this one um, I might change the angles a little bit to make it more um, more angular and not just from the side view um, but I also like this one it's like a little sparrow kid with his squirrel pet slash mount thing so that's kind of what I'm working on um, and I'm hoping to get some stuff finalized today so that I can have everything set and start coloring uh, over the weekend and be recording that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, but I did also get this palette because since this one's all rusted and the rusting stuff is getting in the paint, I'm getting really frustrated with it. So I went and got this, which is airtight supposedly, which I highly doubt, but um, it's plastic, so hopefully not going to have any problems with it, but I wish it was the same color pink as this one, because this one is so freaking cute. Ah, that pastel looking pink. This is a little too, too much of a hot pink, I guess, for me, but it still works. I don't really care that much, but, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one now, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Um, I might go to the ranch today with my friend to see if she's going to ride her horse and just chill with her. So yeah, I'll be working on this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, so it is now <laughs> the next day. I never came back to my vlog, I guess, after, uh, after uh, going to the ranch with my friend and... I really need to go forth with this drawing and get it um, kind of set for the weekend so I can start uh, coloring it for the next week. So that's what I'm up to today. Um, though I did feel like I needed some sort of break, so like even just like a small one after doing that big illustration. Um, I don't like where her shoulders are. I'm trying to, I'm looking at my sketchbook as I'm putting this onto the screen. Because <laughs> I want her to be leaning forward. It's kind of like a weird angle. So, so I'm just trying to imitate this angle um, from this drawing that I showed the other day. So, yeah. I mean, technically I could just take a picture and transfer it that way and then start sketching over that, but I think it'll be, usually that comes out weird, so I think it'll be better if I just sketch it from scratch, essentially. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this comes out. I don't think... I mean, I said this for the last one, but I don't think I'm going to be doing a background for this one. Oops. Why is my pen tip so weird? I feel like I need to clean my screen. There's like dust on it that I think is grabbing onto the um, pen nib. Then again, I did burn through my other pen nib with, uh, I think halfway through the link drawing, my pen nib got so messed up because I tend to be slightly more heavy handed when, um, on the, uh, Cintiq, which I absolutely wish I didn't do. <laughs> um, her head looks too big. Let's see. 
She's leaning forward. See her chest. This is technically her hip things or whatever. Um. I think I just need her head to come down more. Because I'm gonna have her looking. Um. Ah! I almost spilled my coffee. Oh my god. That would have been devastating in two ways. <laughs> Losing my coffee and having to clean it up. <laughs> um, I want her to be looking down at like a fox or something. And I think I'm gonna have her holding some sort of staff. Actually, I don't want it to be perfectly straight. I don't really need that. Like, so her leaning onto this staff sort of thing. I don't really know what kind of shape it's going to be yet, but I do want it to be like kind of branch-like and then have some sort of orb in the center because um, when I was sketching it, I was thinking uh, maybe she's kind of like a, a protector of this forest or um, maybe like not like a full protector, I guess. Maybe she's like a guard for it. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of the idea that I had in my head. Like some sort of uh, guarding aspect. Um, but I'm just really having trouble with the foreshortening of her torso. I also thought about her being a deer because I really like the idea of like these slender kind of legs, but I, I'm gonna go with like a centaur thing. I don't want her to be a full adult, I think. I think I want it to be kind of um, young looking. My water kind of looks like Baja Blast. <laughs> I need to clean that. Oh my god. <laughs> so right now I'm heating up some lunch, but I figured I would talk about these things. So I got this and some, uh, I don't know where it is, but the adhesive thing for um, putting on gold leaf because I want to start making prints of this drawing I did of um, of my uh, Galaxy Rasboros or Danios, whichever you prefer to call them, um, because I really like how this came out, and it's the stages of life for the uh, fish, and um, I did these little gold ink um, spots on it because they have uh, these little shiny dots, hence their celestial Danio name. Um, so I wanted to make prints of this, but I wasn't sure how it would work with the gold. So I got um, this gold leaf stuff to try it out. Um, it's not the super expensive one. It's like, I guess it's not real. I think it's something else. Yeah, it's like copper that looks like gold because like I said, I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make prints of that. There's like so many things I want to put up on my store. I want to put that up on my store and with these embellishments. And then I want to put the Growlithe print, where is it? Yeah, so I want to put the Growlithe print up on my store. Um, and there's something else I can't remember. Oh, I was going to retake pictures of the Corgi stickers because I just don't like how they came out. I can't figure out how to make the settings on this thing work, but um, yeah, and then Here's where I am with the uh, next week's uh, time-lapse drawing. So that's getting done. Um, yeah, I wish I recorded this. I, I kind of just sketched these out and I didn't even think about recording it. I wish I did. So I just finished 
taking photos of the Corgi stickers and the Growlithe print. So I already had uh, pictures of these, but I wasn't liking how um, they were looking. They looked really dull and kind of plain. Um, so I went and redid the pictures um, so that they look a little nicer. Uh, they're definitely not the best and like <laughs> they're all like all like wonky because some are horizontal and so on and so forth. Um, but they look a lot nicer than the previous ones which were just pretty dull and the lighting was kind of awkward. Um, I used my phone for those and that's kind of the reason why. Um, I originally used my camera but I couldn't figure out why the settings were weird so then I ended up using my phone. but. Um, did it with my camera again, but then I sent them to my phone to edit them, and I think they're okay. They're a lot better than what they were, that's for sure. Um, so I did that. I also, um, made a listing for these, um, but I haven't published it yet. Yeah, but it's all ready to go. I did the same thing with the photos. That, um, but... I think the photos came out okay for those as well, but we'll see. I might change it so before I um, publish it, I might want to redo it again. So yeah, I have to clean the house still because it's kind of messy. Um, I have to finish sketching and then ink the art for um, next week and edit this vlog, even though I don't have that much on it so far so yeah that's kind of what I'm doing today yeah okay I'm gonna continue working on this and then hopefully I'll have that um, lined by tonight and I think I want to get some flat colors done because I'm falling behind on this so yeah I'm gonna go back to working on this um, I have to walk my dog you want to go for a walk Gigi, come on let's go let's go for a walk Let's go! Oh, this is my stretcher boy. <laughs> Stretch! <laughs> Let's go! It's like that Shiba thing. Corgis do this too. Come on. Chancy boy. Small update. Also, sorry if you can hear my upstairs neighbor vacuuming. <laughs> but, uh, so I was struggling with, um, the sizing that I wanted for this. Originally, I was thinking a square, like one to one ratio. Um, but then I was like, I don't really want to get paper if I'm going to print this I don't want to get paper that's going to be one by one and have to draw for it all the time because it's not my favorite ratio um, but I managed to make it into a 11 by 14 which is a much more standard size um, I'm gonna tweak some of the stuff maybe move these guys more forward so they're not so close to the edge but um, yeah, I'm liking this a lot better, and I'm gonna leave like this space empty probably as well as the space so it's more focused on the characters. Um, I was looking at a lot of uh, Frank Frazetta uh, work and how he kind of just hints at some elements in the background, whether it just be like a cast shadow or something, so I kind of want to try something similar. Far from the level of skill that he had, but... <laughs> I was just looking at that stuff for inspiration, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this um, sizing and tweak it a little bit, and yeah, so I think now I'm going to start making dinner, then start cleaning and vacuuming my house as well, because my neighbors just reminded me, and then I'll come back and hopefully line this tonight and edit this vlog. So this is where I'm at right now, it's about well, actually, it is 2 a.m., so yeah, I had a good little 
draw and chat with one of my friends from SCAD. So that was fun. And I'm gonna go walk my dog and then go to bed. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for watching, as always. <laughs> Bye!